Material selection plays a crucial role in the design and analysis of mechanical structures, and this tutorial will go through creating and assigning materials in ANSYS Mechanical through Workbench. First, open your ANSYS Workbench project and drag in an engineering data component module. This block allows us to both include common materials from an existing library, as well as edit or create new materials as desired. Double click on the engineering data branch to access the material library. The table in the center of the screen lists all the materials currently added to this system. Structural steel will be added in by default. The table below shows the various structural, thermal or fluid properties of the material. Any property that is defined using a table or matrix will have the information depicted on a window on the right. ANSYS Workbench has a vast library of commonly used materials that can be easily added into your system. To add in an existing material, first click on the engineering data sources. In the data sources table, there are various categories of materials to choose from and bring in to the current system. For example, let's scroll down to general materials and add in aluminium alloy by clicking on the plus symbol. We can now unselect engineering data sources and see that aluminium alloy has been added into our system. If one needs to model a novel material or alloy, it is also possible to create new materials. To do so, simply click on a new row and type in a name for that material. Then, to add in new properties, click on the appropriate material and then using the toolbox on the right, expand the appropriate property group, right click on the required property and select include property. You can then fill in the material parameters as required. Let's add in the tensile yield and ultimate stress as well. To delete an added property, right click and select delete. By clicking on the arrow in column B, it is also possible to alter the material's color to help quickly differentiate between them while setting up the simulation. While it is possible to create a new material from scratch, it is often easier to edit an existing material. To do this, let's first duplicate the aluminium alloy we added. In the materials property window, you can then customize various parameters such as Young's modulus, resonance ratio, density, and thermal properties. Make the necessary adjustments based on your material specifications. If needed, you can add in new properties as well. Now that we have our material defined, let's assign it to a component in our model. Go back to the project schematic by clicking on the project schematic tab. Then we can drag in a mechanical model and link it to the engineering data source that we created. Then we can import the geometry that we want and double click on model to open up ANSYS Mechanical. From there, if we click on geometry, we can change the display style to be based on the material. And if we click through the different bodies, we will see that by default, the entire geometry has the material structural steel assigned to it. To change that, let's click on the first body and while holding shift, click on the last body to select all bodies in the model. And then we can change the material assignment to aluminium. If we now click away, we can see that all the bodies are now being converted to aluminium and their color has changed depending on the aluminium color. Now let's individually select all of the bolts while holding control. And we can change the assignment for these back to structural steel. And this change is again reflected by the change in color. Another way to change the material assignment is using name selections. To do this, select one of the bodies and press N to bring up the name selection menu. You can then type in the name and select the same geometry size and location. And that will create a name selection for all of the nut bodies. From there, we can select material, right click and insert a material assignment. By using the scoping named selection method and choosing knots, we can then assign structural steel to all of the knots. Then we can go to the shaft and change the material assignment to be the aluminium alloy 2 that we duplicated. 
And again, we'll see that the color change reflects this. If you tick the box next to material assignment, you can also parametrize the body's material. Let's go back to Workbench to show what this process could look like. We first notice that a parameter block is now connected to the system. After opening this block, we can then add in more design points with various different materials. Once you've decided what results to output, you can then create output parameters and run an optimization study to pick the best material for your design. 